Hello Rusty Mathers and welcome back to another video and uh, welcome to my year 9 series on number. Now this is the curriculum that we're going through and as you can see on the first two videos highlighted we have already done those videos so please make sure that you go back and watch those on the playlist coming on the pop-up banner just there. It's really important you know how to deal with numbers in standard form before you attempt adding and subtracting. This one's going to be a challenging one, but there are two methods and in those two methods, just choose one, whichever one you like and see how best it works for you. Anyway, at this point, I'd like to encourage you to subscribe below. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. It's just a click for you, just a click. But for me, it means the world. So please subscribe below so that you don't miss any new uploads. Anyway, without further ado, though. We're now going to add and subtract some numbers in standard form. Now, before we can add numbers in standard index form, we need to check one main thing. Check that the powers are the same. I should probably add here that I am going to be doing this in two methods. Um, it's the same thing for taking away, so we might not do a taking away question. So it's exactly the same. So I'm going to do two methods. You pick the method that you like best. So first of all, um, also click on the pop-up banner and go and watch my video on how to change numbers to standard index forms. Really important you see that video before you do this one. Anyway, let's jump into it. So the first thing, like I said, the powers need to be the same. Now, I, want, I will keep the biggest power because we know that if we multiply numbers in hundreds, sorry, not multiply, if we add numbers in hundreds with any other number, the answer will take the form of the biggest number you've added. Um, it's the same thing for taking away mostly, okay? So if I have hundreds, my answer will be in hundreds. And that is why I want to keep the one with the biggest power. So I need to change this three to a four. Let's go and do it. So I will keep the 5.2 times 10 to the power four there. And I'm going to add, well, how do I change this 3 to a 4? Well, to change, sorry, this 3, this power of 3 to a 4. Well, to change it to a 4, I need to multiply by an extra 10. But you'll do this mentally. We don't really need to write all this down. You'll do this mentally anyway. Now, when I multiply by an extra 10, what will happen is that I will now have 0 0.33 times 10 to the power 4 there. So that power has now gone up by 1, and I have multiplied by 10 to bring this over by 1 as well. Now, once I have that and the powers are the same, the job is simple. Just add the numbers on the front. So I will just add my 5.2 to my 0 0.33. So I'll just add them two together. Now, if you don't know how to add decimals, click on the pop-up banner and go and watch my video on adding decimals. Anyway, I will fill up this space here with a zero and then let's jump into it. So zero add three is going to give me three. Then three add two, that's going to give me five. Put the decimal back there. Five add zero is five. So therefore, the final answer of this particular question is 5.53 times 10 to the power 4. Okay, so if that's got your brain a little bit frazzled, then what about that second method I told you about? Because you're probably dying to know what it is now. So that second method means that I need to change all my numbers to ordinary numbers first. So you need to go and watch that video that I have done on changing numbers in standard form to ordinary numbers. So anyway, on this first number here, I need to move four decimal places there. Um, so that first number becomes 52,000. Always double check it. One, two, three, four, we're good. And then this second number here, would be 3,300, so that I'm adding 3,300 there. Always double check it, one, two, three. That's perfect. So I am now going to add these two numbers. Now, 
Once I'm finished adding up these two numbers, I have to change it back to standard form. So let's go. So zero add zero, that's zero, that's zero, three add zero, that's three, two add three, that's five, and then we got a five there. So this number now is an ordinary number. I want it back in standard form. So I will move the number one, two, three, four places. So therefore, the answer again comes out as 5.53 times 10 to the power 4. And that's how you add and subtract numbers in standard form because you will do the exact same thing we have done if you were subtracting. You need to have the same power before you attempt to subtract it or change both the numbers into whole numbers or ordinary numbers, I should say. Do your subtraction and get your answer. All right, very short. There ends this video. I hope this was pretty much enjoyable. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe below. Hit that notification bell so you know as soon as a new video has landed. Thank you for making it this far and watching the video all the way to the end. Now, since you're already here, Go ahead and subscribe below if you haven't subscribed and hit that notification bell so you don't miss an upload as they come out. Comments are always welcome. Let's get some engagement, guys. Put some comments down below. Talk to each other. We can actually have a debate about some of the stuff that I've put on there. Okay, that would be really, really welcome. Anyway, until I see you on the next one, though, peace.